This is question number 16 in part A for 3 marks. We're asked to solve 5 lots of f minus 3 is equal to f plus 10. I'm going to start on the left hand side by expanding the brackets. So we're expanding the brackets to give 5f minus 15 and then on the right we'll have f plus 10. I'm going to subtract 1f from both sides of the equation so I'll have 4f minus 15 is equal to 10. I'm now going to add 15 to both sides of the equation, so 4f will be equal to 25. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4, and that gives me 25 over 4. Don't worry that this is not an integer value. We can leave it as a fraction. It doesn't have to be a whole number, or we could write now as a decimal 6.25. So entirely up to you. Remember, this is a calculator paper. If you're unsure, just use the calculator. In part B, we're asked to solve h plus 7 over 3 plus 2h minus 1 over 2 is equal to 5 over 6. The question carries four marks. Again, with this one, lots of different approaches. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common multiple of the denominators. The lowest common multiple of 3, 2 and 6 is 6. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by 6, 6 over 3 is going to give me 2. So I'd have 2 lots of h plus 7. 6 over 2 is 3, so I'd have 3 lots of 2h minus 1. And that will be equal now. Multiplying 5, 6 by 6 will just give me 5. I now have integer values here. I'm going to expand the brackets, collect like terms and solve. So we'll have 2h plus 14, plus 6h minus 3 is equal to 5. So collecting like terms, I've got 2h and 6h, that's 8h. We've got 14 minus 3, which is going to give me plus 11, and that is equal to 5. Subtracting 11 from both sides of the equation, 8h will be equal to minus 6. Dividing both sides of the equation by 8, we have minus 6 over 8. We could, of course, simplify this now. So we could write or now minus 3 over 4, or we could say minus 0 0.75. I think if you're going to leave it as a fraction, leave it in its simplest form, or write it as a decimal answer. So that's one way that you could do that question. Alternatively, you could add these two fractions then you would end up now with both sides over 6 and then simply write out the numerators or alternatively just multiply through by the lowest common multiple. So final answers for 3 marks 6.25 and for 4 marks minus 0 0.75.